Is it better to teach long vowel sound words first or the short vowel sound words first? Don't believe the hype. <laughs> Greetings, educators. Today, I'm going to talk about teaching short vowel sound words and teaching long vowel sound words. According to Marva Collins, when she used the original open court method to teach her children how to read, they were reading words that were more advanced. They weren't reading baby words like cat, bat, and hat. She said they did not speak using baby words, so they should not learn to read using baby words. Well, according to the original open court method, which is posted for free online under open court original Wigoski, W-I-G-O-S-K-Y, that program lays out a systematics phonics program and process to teach students how to read using the long vowel sounds first. They don't teach short A, short E, short I, short O, and short U sound words first. They go right into the long E, long A, long I, long O, long U words, and all the various spellings for those long vowel sound words, which of course will help the students read more advanced words quickly. I've been using this original open court layout systematics Pro phonics program for the past three years with lots of success. I've noticed that those who teach short vowel sound words first, even when I taught short vowel sound words first to my students, it seems like they never really progressed beyond those short vowel sound words. But when teaching the long vowel sound words first, I saw much quicker development in my students reading as well as my own children so in the coming videos i'm going to be modeling how i teach those long vowel sound words first summer's almost here school's almost over i'm going to have a little summer reading program at my home and so i will be going through the lessons reviewing from the beginning of the original open court method and going as far as I can over the four weeks that I'll be teaching my summer reading program. Again, don't believe the hype. Teaching short vowel sound words is not a necessity. That's where most phonics programs begin, but it is not conclusive that that's where you should begin. The original open court method starts teaching students using the long vowel sound words first. And therefore, they are able to read more complicated words quicker than if they were to start with the short vowel sound words. Then after the long vowel sound words are taught, the open court, original open court method goes into the short vowel sound words. Now this is a systematic phonics program. It's not a program where you test the students to see where they are and then you pick up with where you think they are or where test results show that they are. You have to start the program from the beginning. That's why it's called a systematic phonics program. It leaves no room for any gaps or any holes for the student's understanding or comprehension to fall between the cracks and never get addressed. Even if a student is familiar with one of the ways that a sound chunk is spelled, they still have to follow the systematic phonics program in order to reach full success. There are 55 lessons in the original open court phonics. Marva Collins said that her students were able to read just after one month and in three months, they were comprehensible readers. Well, According to that Open Court Systematics Phonics program, if you hit one lesson a day, you'll be able to reach that. Now, I take maybe two or three days during a normal school year, depending upon what the lesson is teaching to teach a lesson. Some lessons may last a day, some may last more than a day, maybe two or three days. 
because I don't want to move on until the students have learned and gotten used to those particular sound chunks or letters that make a particular sound. Like EI says E and then reading words with EI in it. I hope this helps. Please stay tuned for the next video. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think? What have you used? Have you taught long vowel sound words first, followed by the short vowel sound words? Have you seen any programs like this that start with the long vowel sound words before teaching short vowel sound words? If not, how do you feel about that? Again, I've had great success for the past three years. My data shows that my students are succeeding one, two, and three years above where they were when they started with me. So give it a try. I think you'll like it.